Yo, hey guys, what is up? It is Shane here once again with a new video for our class channel. And today, with this new update, as you guys all know, we have the balloons and hot raiders at half off. We have trained ourselves up a ballooning army of 24 loon 40 minions. And we're going to go out and wreck some bases. We don't have the full spells or clan castle, but we're not going to need it. So this first raid, look at this, 700, almost a 700,000 loot raid right here. Not too bad for a couple of clicks. I actually skipped that part out, but let's go ahead and try to abuse this update as much as we can. We're going to take so much advantage of this update that we're going to have so much loot. And we're probably going to finish our walls after this update, too. I'm just kidding, that's going to be really expensive and I'm going to need to play a lot. But right here, I'm pretty much going to do my basic ballooning attack strategy that I usually do for Town 9. I really haven't been using ballooning on this attack strategy. I just had to level 5 balloons because I wanted to max out everything in my laboratory. And I do have a lot of links here, so I have nothing else to upgrade. So I upgraded those a, couple, a while back. And now I have them maxed out for Town 8. So I pretty much dropped all my troops left. I have no spells, which was not didn't really affect the outcome of this radio. It's still going to be a three star no matter what, because look how many balloons left I have, and there's only one defense that can really actually there's two defense that can really hurt air, and make that one. And this was pretty much a three star victory. No, I I knew it from the beginning wasn't gonna be hard the only thing that would stop me in this raid was time but there's two minutes left and we're already at 90 percent almost right there we're at 88 90 percent and there's two minutes this raid was fairly quickly it's only around two min a minute and 30 seconds this raid i probably would have been faster if these builder huts weren't all the way out over here but it's okay we got the three star victor we got a lot of loot 700,000 combined resources even though i do not need the elixir i still got it just to add up and get those achievements for Gold Crab and Elixir Escape Aid. Because believe it or not, I still haven't gotten those yet because I'm pretty, pretty much only using this account for war and stuff and, so, and whatnot. So I'm like, an, like a couple hundred thousand off of it. It's kind of saddening, but uh, we're probably going to get that soon. So that was a great first raid. Let's go ahead and head back to base. This time we have a Hog Rider army trained up. And this is my basic Hog Rider army. I don't know why I have an extra Hog Rider trained. But we're going to go ahead, find some loot, and see what we can get. Ooh, so another collector base. It's like a 500,000 loot raid right here. We're gonna go in from... Where should we attack from? Um, uh, we'll attack from the right side right here. We'll attack for traps right there. Even though mo there's most likely not gonna be any. And there's no clan castle group because this is a dead base, obviously. But we're gonna go ahead to spam our hog raiders in. I don't even think we're gonna use the heal spell. We're probably not gonna need it, but I'm gonna send in my cleanup troops just to get that extra... All the extra loot, clean it up a little bit quicker. I'm gonna drop my one heal spell down in the center just so that my hogs don't die. Better to be safe than sorry. And this sport pretty much gonna clean up this entire base right here, no problemo. And this is going to be another three star victory plus a lot of loot. It won't be as much loot as the last raid, but it'll be still be a considerable amount, especially since we're using hog raiders and we're pretty much gonna make a full profit back on all of our loot, especially since it only took a few, few clicks to find. I mean, if you guys want to find some great loot, go down to gold 3, silver 1. If you're a town 8, town 9, that is probably my favorite, my favorite pretty much farming, my farming range for town 8 and town 9. And when you're using nice troops like balloons and dra- and dra uh, not dragons, hog riders, then you're sure to get some 3 stars and get a lot of loot. So this raid's pretty much ending up right here, we're at 92%. The barb king's about to go down soon. Will he even get to go down? Yeah, he'll go down right now. And then we're at 94. We're about to dig his last gold storage is down. And once those guys go down, then we'll have a three-star victory and more loot for us. So one building left, two buildings left, one building left. Right here, it's about to go down. And now, about now, we got the three-star victory. We can go ahead, head back to base now with all this loot. And we can go train up another army. So we're back here at base with another Hog Raider army because I wanted to make one better than the last one. So let's go ahead, find a raid right now, and see how we can do. Ooh, so look at this. Uh, one of the first clicks. Look up. If you guys do the math of my gold, then uh, you'll see that it, this was like really early. And this is going to be a really... I almost pressed next on this actually. But this is actually going to be a really easy raid. I'm just going to pretty much spam all of my troops. I'm not even going to use my heal spells. I might, but I'm not going to use them. It's going to be a waste. Pretty much, I can just overkill this base with all my hog raiders. This is going to be no problem at all. Oh my god, I'm just going to wreck this guy. That, that was pretty good fun right here. I probably could have wrecked this guy with barks, but since we have the hog raiders, we're going to go ahead and three-star this man. 
He has nothing against we have nothing against him but particular, but he's not gonna play Clash of Clans anymore, so we might as well just take all of his stuff. We might as well just destroy him and just get everything we can. Unfortunately those Teslas were down there, so they strike the Hawks from splitting up in the center, which was pr pretty much what we wanted to happen since well they are going to now have to backtrack pretty much. But that won't be too big of a problem. Our 69% odds, you just run right then there. This Barb King is not going to be a problem at all since he's level 1 and the Wizards just destroyed him. They demolished him. And pretty much just, there's no more threat to these All Raiders. There's nothing to really stop them. There's not going to be any giant bombs, obviously, since his base is totally dead. And pretty much just the town halls left and a couple, a couple of storages and those top buildings. But that's not going to be enough to stop them from time or anything. So we're about to hit 90% right about now. We're at one building away from 90%. We're, there we go. We just gave him a 16 hour shield. There's a few buildings left, 92%, and he'll have another three star victory, 17 trophies, and a lot of loot once these buildings get cleared up. Another minute and 30 second raid. Pretty much a really fast raid, which isn't too bad if you ask me. When you're doing fast raid, that means you're going to get better at attacking. Be a three star the base fast. But, anyways, let's go back home, train one more of these armies up, and. Right here we have an all hog rider army actually and three heal spells. No, we have two heal spells. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to use all hog riders. That means we're gonna have to find a fully dead base. And oh, this guy looks pretty dead. So we're gonna go ahead and try him out. So we're gonna check for Glen Gazel troops just in case there are any. He might be pulling a trick on us like those fake dead bases. And if he did have some Glen Gas troops, I would have lost anyways. I don't even know why I checked for them. But we're pretty much going to overkill this guy's base. I'm not even going to need these heal spells once again. I'm, I'm probably just going to use them to get rid of them so I can do some more raids. But I'm, I don't even need them in these in these pretty much raids because they're so easy bases. But they're all pretty much dead and I don't need to don't need to worry about winning because it's going to be going to be a pretty easy raid. So there we go. Almost all the defense are destroyed and I don't you can see I didn't need that heal spell at all. But I'm trying to get rid of them. Because I'm going to make uh, my war army after this. And then I can go attack in war. I don't know why. But whenever I attack for my friends in wars. Because like sometimes they want me to attack for them so they don't mess up. I get like 3 stars every single time. But whenever I attack on my own account. And I'm using the exact same strategy. It's the exact same base. I just. I choke so hard. And then like. I get like a 1 star with all dragons. Like I don't even know how that's possible. But anyways. This raid is pretty much clearing up. We just got the 1 star. 2 star actually. Simultaneously. And this is definitely going to be another 3 star. All we can do is collect all the loot and we can get out of here as fast as we can. So, they're the hardware are tracking back down. They're pretty much just going for these small storages. Well, they're not really small. They're just almost empty storages. And there's there's so much loot in this base. There's around 500,000 loot. And I've actually been upgrading walls in between each of these raids. So, if you guys were wondering where all my loot's been going... Well, they've been going into walls since I did max out all my defense except for the Teslas, which I'll I'll upgrade after these walls are finished. But here we go. The raid is pretty much finishing up. The Hawks split up just what we wanted. And um, this raid's already pretty much over. It was pretty, these were some pretty fun raids. You should try some of them out. Especially if you don't need Dark Elixir anymore since I did max out my Hogs a couple of days ago. They're upgrading right now. And my Barb King, he's upgrading level 9 right now, and I won't need Dark Elixir for a while. So, let's go ahead and end the video right here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and Shane out. Peace!